I've been cooking with purple yams now for about oh, two months. Started out because my friend uh, Tom, who always comes shopping with me at Lely, um, was told to try and find some purple yams by his wife because they're so-called good for you. Um, I started cooking with them too, and I have to tell you, they're an absolute hoot. Um, they don't look very purple when they're raw, when you cut them up, but as you cook them, the purple colour becomes very pronounced, very pronounced. Uh, then, about oh, two, maybe three weeks ago, I saw a very interesting article in the health section of the Epoch Times on the health benefits of eating yams or sweet potatoes and their leaves. Uh, so I thought, you know what, let's give this a go. Um, and so we have. And uh, it's certainly a yam-centric dish. Few pictures, a little bit of video, not too much. But it was fun to do, and I hope you will enjoy it. So here's where this dish started out. What you're looking at is a purple and Japanese yam pancake. Uh, it also has mushrooms and green onions in it. Um, I'll have a video featuring another menu item, beef kidneys with Chinese sausage, coming up in a couple of days. I'll actually show how to make this. Um, but basically, it's the ingredients. They're cooked. I'd call it Korean inspired because the items in the pancake were steamed cooked first, not the mushrooms and onion, but the yam. Um, mashed together with some potato flour and a little bit of egg just to moisten it. Binds up, the potato starch browns beautifully. Um, I'm showing the ring mold because that's what I formed it in. Why? Um, if you're not careful, you make these too thin, um, they fall apart when you're putting them into the pan or trying to flip them. My best advice, I just push it out of the ring mold into the pan once the oil's hot and like cooking a steak or a piece of chicken don't mess with it just leave it alone until it's browned on the one side and firmed up then you can flip it obviously i made mine the same depth as the ring mold but you don't have to you can make these thinner and the one i'm using um, with the beef kidney will be thinner and i'll probably be using a bigger ring mold to size it up okay so here are our yam leaves I've actually washed three times. Um, make sure there's no grit or dirt in it. Nobody enjoys a gritty stir fry. Now, this is my first time cooking yam leaves. I've already trimmed off some of the stalk, but in feeling the stalks, they're very resilient. So I'm actually going to trim off another good bit of this stalk, set it aside, and chop the rest just coarsely. It'll collapse and stir fry, but we'll take a little bit more of the stalk off just to make sure we have a tender stir fry. Okay, so here's how the yam leaves look when they're cooked down in my wok and I've cooked all the moisture off. Now, if I told you this was Taiwan spinach, you'd probably believe me, wouldn't you? Uh, it isn't, it's yam leaves. Um, seasoning was a little bit of garlic and ginger paste, some salt and freshly ground black pepper. Um, sorry we didn't film the stir fry. Um, I'm having real problems with my tripod and I just don't like wobbly videos. This one's bad enough. Um, so, like most Asian green vegetable stir fries, talked about the Taiwan spinach, Asian spinach and so on. After you've cooked them down, there's a lot more stalk than leaf, but that's not unusual. I uh, still have a great taste. I'm interested in the texture of this, and we'll see how it works out once we've plated up. So here we are all plated up. And yes, I confess I used a forming ring for the uh, yam leaves. Just wanted everything to look nice. Top this off with some braised Costco organic shiitakes, braised in dashi. Um, these are quite small shiitakes, by the way. They're very tender. They're not my favourites, though. Um, we'll have a separate short, maybe, on just shiitake versus shiitake in about a week or so. Um, 
they don't have the strength of flavor that I like in a shiitake, but I'm sure they're otherwise excellent. We'll have a taste test and final report to close out this video. Thanks for watching. If uh, you appreciate this content, please like and subscribe. Um, it helps our channel. Yes, and in case anybody wonders in closing, I do need to point out that I do know that the terms yam and sweet potato are not synonyms one for the other. Um, the vegetables used in this video were yams. I can tell you that for a fact just because of the cons consistency of their flesh. Very firm and starchy, not soft at all. Which is why we steamed them before we made the pancakes. Um, however, it's my supposition that the colouring in both the similarly coloured yam and sweet potatoes would have similar, if not identical, health benefits. So um, I hope that helps, um, but we'll be proceeding with this, and thanks for watching.